surgical treatment of ectopic pregnancy, tubal or ovarian, without salpingectomy and slash or oophorectomy. The physician treats a tubal or ovarian ectopic pregnancy by removing the embryo from the tube or ovary. Through an incision in the lower abdomen, the physician explores the pelvic cavity, inspects the gestation site for bleeding, and removes all products of conception, clots, and free blood. If the embryo is implanted in the fallopian tube, the physician may do one of the following. Manually remove the embryo from the tube, make an incision to remove the embryo, or excise the section of the tube containing the embryo. If the embryo is implanted in the ovary, the physician resects the ovary to remove the embryo. Lysis of adhesions may be indicated and the pelvis lavaged with saline solution. The incision is closed with sutures. Surgical treatment of ectopic pregnancy, tubal or ovarian, requiring salpingectomy and slash or oophorectomy, abdominal or vaginal approach. If the tube is affected, it may be excised by cutting a small wedge of the uterine wall at the junction of the fallopian tube and body of the uterus. If the ovary is affected, it may be removed. Surgical treatment of ectopic pregnancy, abdominal pregnancy. The physician removes an embryo or fetus implanted in the abdomen. The fertilized ovum may have implanted directly in the abdomen, primary, or it may have implanted after escaping from the tube through a rupture or through the fimbriated end, secondary. After making an abdominal incision, the physician surgically removes the fetus from the abdomen. The membranes are also removed and the cord is ligated near the placenta. The placenta is usually not removed unless attached to the fallopian tube, ovary, or uterine broad ligament. Abdominal lavage may also be indicated. The abdominal incision is closed with sutures. Although this procedure is rare, it can be done any time during gestation, even at or near term. Surgical treatment of ectopic pregnancy, interstitial, uterine pregnancy requiring total hysterectomy. The physician treats an interstitial pregnancy where the fertilized ovum has implanted in the portion of the tube that transverses the uterine wall by removing the uterus and cervix. Through an incision extending from just above the pubic hairline to the rib cage, the physician clamps and cuts free the supporting pedicles containing the tubes, ligaments, and arteries. The physician removes the uterus and cervix and may elect to remove the tubes and slash or ovaries. Abdominal or pelvic lavage may also be indicated. The abdominal incision is closed with sutures. Surgical treatment of ectopic pregnancy, interstitial, uterine pregnancy with partial resection of uterus. Through an incision extending from just above the pubic hairline to the rib cage, the physician resects and reconstructs the uterine wall. The physician may also remove a portion or all of the fallopian tube. Abdominal or pelvic lavage may be indicated. The abdominal incision is closed with sutures. Surgical treatment of ectopic pregnancy, cervical, with evacuation. The physician treats an ectopic pregnancy where the embryo has implanted in the cervix. If the pregnancy is less than 12 weeks gestation, the physician usually removes the embryo through the vagina. The physician ligates the hypogastric arteries or the cervical branches of the uterus to control bleeding. Curatage of the endocervix and endometrium may stop heavy bleeding. Sutures and gauze packing may also be necessary. If later than 12 weeks gestation, the physician may treat the cervical pregnancy by performing an abdominal hysterectomy. Through a horizontal incision just within the pubic hairline, the physician clamps and cuts free the supporting pedicles containing the tubes, ligaments, and arteries. The uterus is removed above the cervix, 
and the incision is closed by suturing. Laparoscopic treatment of ectopic pregnancy, without salpingectomy and slash or oophorectomy. The physician treats an ectopic pregnancy by laparoscopy without salpingectomy and slash or oophorectomy. The physician inserts an instrument through the vagina to grasp the cervix while passing another instrument through the cervix and into the uterus to manipulate the uterus. Next, the physician makes a 1 cm incision in the umbilicus through which the abdomen is inflated and a fiber optic laparoscope is inserted. A second incision is made on the left or right side of the abdomen. After locating the site of the gestation, another small incision is made above the site. Instruments are passed into the abdomen through the incisions. The physician removes the ectopic pregnancy by making an incision in the tube or ovary or by segmental excision. The abdominal incisions are closed with sutures. Laparoscopic treatment of ectopic pregnancy with salpingectomy and slash or oophorectomy. The physician treats an ectopic pregnancy by laparoscopy with salpingectomy and slash or oophorectomy.